Welcome everyone to Door Village United Methodist Church. I'm Pastor Sam Polito and I welcome you on this uh, Advent evening. Um, we, we gather in the Lord's name and we, we ponder the things of Christmas. Uh, blessings to you. Let, let's start out with a word of prayer. Let's begin with prayer. Reveal yourself to us. Show us the way. As you led others, so lead us. As you led Mary and Joseph and even the wise men, guide and lead us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Now join me in praying the Lord's Prayer using trespasses. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. Good evening. Our scripture reading tonight is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 6 through 7. 
For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. We will visit tonight with a mighty prophet of old, Isaiah. In the season of Advent, we move all too quickly into the Gospels for inspiration about who Jesus is. But I like to take a look at the prophecies that prepared the way for the Lord. How Micah 5, chapter, chapter 5, verse 2 it says that the city of Bethlehem is to be the birthplace of the Messiah, Jesus. How in Isaiah it says, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son. And, and here again tonight in Isaiah, we read prophetic words about the coming Messiah. A shoot from Jesse's tree. Emmanuel, God with us. Tonight, we have three pairings, uh, word couplings that lead the way. We begin with wonderful counselor. When I look back in my life, I recall very special people that counseled me. My oldest sister, Laura, for example, who helped me navigate my first days uh, at Purdue. Um, I think of my dad who prepared me for the harshest realities of life. And, and of course, the pastors that I had along the way. The Lord brought them into my life at just the right time. When I struggled, well, they counseled me. But above all else, my, my greatest counselor has been and still is the Holy Word of God. Certain verses in the Bible guide me and lead me on the way I ought to go. Isaiah leads us tonight with the words, Wonderful Counselor. They remind us of who God is, after all, don't they? His words guide and lead us on our Advent journey this season. He is not just any counselor, no. He is our wonderful counselor. We can trust in his leading, in his guiding us. Now, next pairing is a coupling of two words that, that capture who God is. When we think of God, we think of these two words quite often. Everlasting Father. When I hear this pairing, I keep in mind the words of Jesus where he says of himself, I and the Father are one. How he prays and teaches us to pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God, as our Father, is everlasting. He was and is and forever will be everlasting Father. In this Advent season, we remember and give thanks for the gift, the, the moment the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Emmanuel, God with us. The incarnation, the becoming flesh, a, a baby is born, a child is born, a son is given. Even our everlasting Father who entered into time and space and heaven came down to earth. Yes, everlasting. Yes, Father. Yes, fully God. And yet, 
a baby in a manger. This is the mystery of the Advent season that we ponder. Jesus, as the Son of God, this is the mystery. And, and now the last pairing is one we need to hear and we, we need to embrace. Jesus is our Prince of Peace. As wars rage on around the globe, uh, particularly uh, devastating wars, as wars on poverty and, and wars on addiction are endless, class wars, rich and poor at odds, race wars, and wars over political ide ideologies, peace, can be a rare commodity. But Jesus, in Jesus, the promised Messiah, the baby born in him, we have an end to the war within us. The war against sin. With sins forgiven, we can find true peace within. When we love the way Jesus taught, even our enemies rejoice and receive our very best prayers for wholeness. I thank the prophet Isaiah for penning the powerful pairings of words that give us our Advent lesson for tonight. Our wonderful counselor, everlasting father, and our prince of peace. And with that, our evening meditation ends. And to that, we all say an amen. Say amen with me. Amen and amen. And with that, we, uh, we have an Advent song to finish our time together with. The song is called, Isn't He? <laughs> wonderful. Amen and amen. Good night, everyone.